everybody welcome back to the cabin <laughs> I can call it a cabin now because it's starting to look like one and I can actually uh, use the basement at least the bas back section because it's waterproofed um, boards are fastened down on this section but I can't uh, adhere the blue skin to it because it's still wet plus um, boards are sitting on the ground so they did absorb some extra moisture so what I'd like to do is just leave it exposed for a couple of days and then blue skin it and then I might even stick a um, small wood stove inside the basement for a little bit, like a couple of days or something, and nearly crank the heat and see if I can just force all the extra moisture out of the, the uh, basement before I close it back in or close it in fully. And I do have a window here on this side, but that's the only um, window that's, that's openable that I can let air into the basement. So I am going to put two vent pipes as well, maybe even three, but two for sure in the back two sections. Um, basically it's three sections, three um, separate rooms. One bigger room here where the water is, and then two cold cellars in the back corner, separate so, so they can keep different types of uh, fruits, vegetables, and meat in there and cheese. So it's uh, making, I'm making some progress finally. The uh, next step would be to well, two things, I guess. I do need to mill some more boards, and I don't, so I don't think I have an ex, enough floorboards right now to do this section. Um, the problem with here is that I need to insulate this section, and it is exposed from the, the underside, but not enough that I can get underneath to insulate it later. So what I need to do is take two dry days, insulate it, cover the top with the boards, the uh, floorboards, and then blue skin that as well to keep it airtight or keep it watertight didn't don't need blue skin in that situation like six mil poly normally would be would be fine a vapor barrier but because I need to keep it watertight while I'm working on the the walls of the cabin until I get the roof on um, there'll be a lot of water and snow sitting on there so I need it fully water watertight and I need to be protecting that insulation so that, that doesn't get wet and then after that or maybe before that, if the rain comes, I get it's calm for the next couple of days. Well, what I'll do is jump on the front porch, get those uh, um, joists in, and then clad or put the boards down on that. I'm just hesitating on what what I want to do, whether I wanted that as a work platform, or whether I want to leave it open so that I don't damage the the deck boards. But it is a little bit too high and awkward to work with the heavy logs around that without being able to get up on it as a platform so bottom line is i am going to finish the deck like put the deck boards down the final deck boards now because um, that's open right it's, it uh, water will go through that and be able to drain fine so i'm going to jump on this i think tomorrow while i'm waiting for all that to happen all the weather and um weather to dry up and and uh preferably dry up enough that yeah, like I like milling, sort of milling logs, sawing logs in the in the rain, because it's something that um, I don't know. I don't need hand tools or anything, so it's fine to to run the mill, but um, I don't like dragging logs to the mill when the ground is that wet, because it really tears the ground up. So for that reason, I probably won't have all the those boards ready. So I'll have to jump onto this uh, staircase part of the cellar that goes down. From up here down into the to the cellar um, that's also going to be fully enclosed so I, I do have all the boards ready for that i think i think i've got enough so i think i'll jump on that while i'm like i said waiting for the weather to improve anyway <laughs> long story short i'm going to uh, shut it down for the evening and make some dinner and then uh, get back at it tomorrow hopefully the weather's better This blue heron that keeps hanging out here by the cabin. There's no fish in this little creek, or not many. It's the odd minnow that I've seen, but I think in this section there's probably none right now. But there's a lot of frogs, so I'm assuming that's what the heron's coming in to eat. It's funny because he gets pretty bold, comes flying in even when Callie's running around down there, or if I'm here, 
and uh, ends up landing anyway. The only problem with having a dog is that it keeps a lot of the wildlife away, which I don't like, but it's a trade-off. Anyway, she likes birds, so she likes to chase them. Alright, I think that's enough. I think it has fall from there to here. Maybe not. I gotta run a level in there. Anyway, I am dying. This is like, what, third day of this incredible uh, humidity. It's, uh, I don't know. I think it was 38 or 39 degrees Celsius with the Humidex, which would be what, over over 90 for sure, maybe 100 even. And 100% uh, humidity, so I'm like just soaking wet and I can't uh, stay hydrated. So I'm going to take a little break, have a bunch of water, and then get this pipe in. So I mentioned the reason for this, I need to get that drainage pipe into the cellar in case it ever i don't know maybe in the spring maybe water would get into the cabin into the floor if we had a lot of snow melt but from what i'm seeing the sand percolates enough that the water just goes straight through so i doubt it's going to migrate into the cabin especially because i have blue skin all the way down to the footings um, anyway got the drain pipe in there in case i need it in case it does flood or if let's say my well floods or the the uh, tote needs to be emptied or something. I can run it through this pipe. But the other thing is I have an inch and a half plumbing pipe that I'm putting in. And that will actually be connected to the sink and maybe a shower if I do a shower inside the cabin. So I can uh, run um, the drain, the gray water out to there to the edge of the edge of the metal here and uh, just have the plants naturally f filter that probably end up putting a little uh, garden of some sort right there don't backfill that don't spill any soil in there you go this way anyway break time and then get that pipe in there and get a level on it two days <laughs> Well, not two full days, probably a good six or seven hours of digging to get that level. I mean, I way underestimated the amount of time. It's partially because after digging the basement, it didn't wasn't too difficult, but just squeezing in there, I bet that added two hours of time just because I was like wedged in trying to move a shovel or reaching down from above, scraping and lifting. Yeah, pretty hard on the back too. She got stung by something or I don't know if she was just bit by a horse fly, that's all I saw. Anyway, she was lying there, then she just jumped up suddenly and and uh, kind of yelped and came between my legs for safety and then uh, <laughs> and then she um, she was fine but I noticed soon afterwards that this side of her gels was uh, swollen and it still was a little bit it was a couple hours ago but you seem okay you like that that was bare you go swimming Hey, you want to go swimming? The reason I moved the fire pit up here, the, the um, campfire, I don't, no, I don't have a good reason actually. I just I like the feeling up here better than down in the clearing, maybe because it is so clear around the greenhouse. I mean, I still like it down there. And, see lots of wildlife there and it's a nice breeze less bugs and everything but we're not less bugs than right here I guess 
I've got birds hanging around me here. The, um, I don't know, I just like the feeling of this overlooking the meadow and the streams where I always envision spending most of my time. Which is why the cabin ended up right here and then I've got the front porch covered overlooking this little valley here. So the only problem is the prevailing wind, like northwest, is over here. So I get a little bit more smoke coming in. We have a south wind here, or southwest wind today, coming in from there mostly. But um, anyway, I can deal with that. I just like the setting here better. So I'm sitting on pretty clean sand here. And the reason for the sand is that it went, well, basically below the first two inches of moss and a little bit of soil is this sand. And as I dug it up for the trench here, for the water uh, drainage from the, from the basement of the cabin, it ended up on top. I like that because it's cleaner than the uh, uh, bare dirt from all the construction um, activity here. I get <laughs> at the old cabin, I had more soil. And clay, and it held a lot of. Oh, so it held a lot of uh, water, and then turned to mud as I was working on the cabin. At least this percolates right through, and it's fairly clean. Um, the only thing I don't like is that it tracks into the cabin right now. It tracks into the basement of the cabin, but <laughs> that's all sand anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I notice every time I get up on the floor on the platform, I do bring a lot of sand with me on my boots. So I think what I'll end up doing is um, I mentioned before these wood chips I'm either going to fully wood chip the ground and uh, you know leave it like that at first but I don't know if it's a, I've heard stories of that actually catching fire I don't think that's very often true because it holds a lot of moisture being in contact with the ground but anyway I think what I'll do is encourage it to turn to soil as quickly as possible by mulching it extra fine or don't do that put a layer of topsoil that I can collect from the forest and uh, plant something like um, I don't know thyme or just let the ferns take ferns take over or something but anyway I do want it to be cleaner than it is now so this whole plateau area up here so the basement it actually I think what I'm gonna do next week is build a bed instead of going back to the workshop um, Especially now that nights are getting cooler, it's a little bit more comfortable. It could be comfortable sleeping in there and then I can uh, get to work earlier the next morning and I can work later in the evening. It's that time of year, uh, fall coming up, a lot cooler and decent length days but also no bugs in the evening. That's the main thing. Um, you'll notice that this week I've been working with my shirt off, even on camera a little bit. Um, I do work with my shirt off a lot. I don't typically have the camera rolling when, I, when I'm like that. But I'm actually working most of the time without a shirt right now because the bugs are down and what mosquitoes there are are not very aggressive. So even though we had all that rain last night, and it was rainy this morning, um, like I said, there was a few mosquitoes, but they weren't very aggressive. So I got a few bites, but I just don't like wearing bugs, a uh, ton of bug repellent. So that's why I typically wear a long sleeve shirt so that's the other thing when I am wearing a shirt now it's typically going to be short sleeve because I don't have to protect myself right beside the camera like two feet away to your right on the tree is some kind of sparrow I'm not even sure what kind that is hmm. anyway I'm going to give Kelly a little bit of this bear meat you heard that? And clean up. Get the uh, have the lights on in the basement right now. Just with one of the solar power banks. Uh, I think it's the Jack. Yeah, the Jackery one. And uh, the Goal Zero lights. So I don't want to leave that on. I typically just use candles or or um, a Coleman lantern there. But like I said. I will start uh, putting the bed in there the next week or two and try to get a door on and maybe install a window in the basement too. I've kind of been avoiding that because I want to get that um, 
staircase built that staircase section of the basement built first so that I don't uh, punch out the window but I always stick some boards in front of it I guess the reason for the window would be to keep any bugs out at night but also like mice and stuff anyway I'm not sure how many people watch this channel and don't watch the other channel either out of preference or maybe you don't even know about the other channel but my main one is my self-reliance <laughs> that might sound foolish that maybe all of you maybe you're all subscribed to the other channel but anyway longer form videos less talking and just uh, a little bit more peaceful so if you haven't seen that channel you can click on um, well it'd be a link always in the bottom for either channel even on the other channel I'll have <laughs> links to this channel um, but anyway in the description below or uh, I think often at the top um, what is it? Top left hand corner of the screen? Top left, top right hand corner of the screen. I have a link. You can click on that and you can subscribe to that channel or go to that channel and watch the videos there. Anyway, appreciate everybody sticking around and, you know, through a somewhat boring summer. But um, now that the basement is almost done and I have started dragging some logs in, I think by next week I'll have probably that floor on and then all the uh, not all the logs but a lot of the logs are actually pulled right into place so you can see the size of them and uh, sort of the configuration so if you're interested in watching all that stuff anyway um, you can click on the playlist and now I'm gonna mess this up so on this side bottom left hand corner of your screen would be the playlist for 2021 here at the new homestead or the most recent video will be in the top left hand corner of the screen <laughs> yeah Anyway, so thanks for watching. appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.